The uniformed parade march has become second nature for these Coast Guard officers. So have the drills and obstacle courses, however grueling they can be. But this is just the beginning for these officers. These men and women are part of the recruit intake number nine. But these special displays were part of their graduation ceremony held at their George Price Highway headquarters. It is the largest intake in the history of the Coast Guard and this is our ninth intake. Um, today this intake uh, graduates at a number of, of 79. It's intake number nine and we have 79 graduates today. And that takes the Coast Guard strength to 450. As part of the celebration, the top five graduates were awarded for specific distinctions. Traditionally, we, we give the awards for the best uh, physical fitness, um, the best swimmer, the best shot, the best female. And f the, the competition among the female in, in the, the training evolutions that we have performed has always been very fierce. And then last but not the least, the, the champion recruit, who is the best overall in the course. And so the recruits are, are, are compete every step of the way to win these uh, coveted awards at the end of, of 12 weeks. And, um, you know, it's, 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 it's fun and it's, and it's good to see the, the spirit of competition. And by the end of the day, uh, we have the single people out um, to be presented with awards. And, and you saw that today, but I'm sure every one of them considers themselves to be a champion. But with these new champion Coast Guard officers comes the challenge to accommodate them all. The Coast Guard is growing uh, continuously and on rapidly, but it, it has to grow, everything has to grow in tandem. For example, um, we're supposed to, to grow by another hundred next year, but I have to grow the infrastructure as well, or else, you know, I have nowhere to put these men and women. They have to have boats to, to do their operations, they have to have weapons, they have to have ammunition, you know, so everything has to grow in tandem. So uh, we have to strike a balance in, in how we grow. No matter how many men and women join the Coast Guard, they all have to keep focused on their duty and mission. The Coast Guard, you know, is, as the, 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 the keynote address speaker said today, one of the apex institutions among the security forces in Belize. And we want to keep it that way, keep the men uh, committed, keep them professional, uh, keep them well-trained, uh, well-disciplined, well-equipped. And you know, and ready to do our duty, as, as our motto says, uh, you drink a parrot, ready for anything. Reporting for 7 News, I'm Courtney Weatherburn.